Well, hey YouTube friends, I got my Mavic Air 2 in the mail. It came a day early, which is really nice. So I figured I'd do a quick initial review and some sample footage from an uh, actual buyer instead of some of these DJI people. So we can see what it looks like. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit really quick about why I upgraded from the original Mavic Air. So uh, uh, this is my, I don't know, fifth drone maybe. I had a Parrot, I had a Mavic Pro, the original. It is now in the bottom of the Mississippi. Uh, and then I have had this one, and I've also had, I don't remember, I've had a bunch of them, but uh, this Mavic Air has been my main drone for a while, and I love it. It's, it's very, very good for even professionals. I love the size of it because I can just leave it in my bag. It came with this like perfect little case, and so it just fit in the bottom of my Peak Design bag, and I always had it with me. That's the reason why I loved it, and I really thought about upgrading to the Mavic Pro 2, all that fun stuff, but I just... I just didn't see a need. And so, um, the Mavic Air 2 came out and I was really excited about it because the size of it is it's pretty small. I'll show you a comparison. Here it is. I mean, it's a little bigger. It really is, but not much. I think it'll still fit in the bottom of my bag. Um, but the main things that I did not like about the Mavic Air, they fixed in the Mavic Air 2. And number one is the transmission. I could not stand the uh, wireless connection on my Mavic Air. I could be in my driveway and not be able to get up to 400 feet because it would connect, it would disconnect. And so uh, with the OcuSync 2, I know that that's gonna be an incredible connection. And then the other thing that I really, uh, really didn't necessarily care for on my Mavic Air was the size of the sensor and they bumped that up too. So those two things were like, okay, I can sell my Mavic Air probably and, uh, for a couple hundred bucks upgrade. So I did. I ended up buying the Fly More package. It came with this nice bag. It's okay. Uh, it's pretty roomy, to be honest. Uh, the pockets, I don't think, are very well thought out. I probably won't use this bag, to be honest. Uh, I'll probably get some Peak Design thing, or uh, I would love to find a little sleeve or something that I could fit like this. I mean, this is perfect. I don't, I don't need anything else. I'll put the battery somewhere else. I'll put the controller, all that stuff. Just, I need a little sleeve that I can slip in there. If you've got an idea, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, so, other than that, the controller, this has been a big, big stink. I, I kind of like it. It feels good in the hand when I was when I was updating the firmware. Uh, I was just kind of holding it and it does feel good. Uh, I do, I'm not a huge fan that's a little bit bigger, uh, but ergonomics wise it feels good the phone is up so my face ID works now which it didn't on the flip down uh, lots of those kind of features I I'm okay with it I'm okay with it so why don't we get this thing up in the air and see what it can do right afterwards I will give you some of my thoughts
Okay, just landed my first flight. No accidents, so that's good. Uh, there she is. It's looking good. Let's see if I got focus. So, uh, it's big. It's a lot bigger than the Mavic Air. I don't think I'm going to be able to fly it in quite as many like tight spots, uh, at least not right away. But I'll get there. And so, uh, my first thoughts are connection is incredible. Really like it a lot. I love this controller. I'm glad that they made it a little bit bigger. Um, all of the all of the buttons that I would need are right where they need to be. So you've got your, your dial right here. That's how I adjust the camera. I don't use the joysticks all the time. I didn't this time. I feel like I got a little bit better control sometimes when I don't use it because then the, the point of pushing is, is closer. I've done it both ways, but for this flight, I didn't use the little knobs. So uh, right here is a button that you can switch between your cameras. So it switches between photo and video. And then on the back here, you've got your button for record. So this is record, this is stop, this is flip your camera, um, this is turn your light on right here. That turns your light on. Uh, controller feels great. The drone flies great. Very responsive. Um, it's going to take me a while to get used to this drone opposed to my other one, but uh, so far I'm a big fan. I think today will be a great, um, it will be a great chance to see what the footage looks like because it's kind of a gray day. Um, we may see a lot of that grain in there because of, uh, on my other drone, it would just look mushy. It would just look nasty. So I was able to keep the ISO obviously at 100 and basically keep my shutter speed right where it needed to be. I shot in 4K60, so uh, we'll see how that looks. All right, guys, if this video is helpful, I would love for you to like it. If you've got a question about what you'd like to see, make sure to comment below. I'd love to chat with you, and I'll, I'll try anything you need. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And uh, we've got a video coming out Friday on cinematic B-roll, so be sure to catch that one. All right, guys, see you soon.